Retro bit products are pretty good. I've reviewed a lot of them on the channel and I've always seemed to like them. You know, they're pretty good substitutes for your original controllers and whatnot, and they seem to do a good job. They have a lot of unique things and whatnot, but last year they released a console called the Retro Bit Generations, and unfortunately it just wasn't all that great. There were some emulation issues with the games that were present on the system, and it really dragged down the experience. Well, Retro Bit is back this year with a brand new system called the Super Retro Cade. Now, this has a strong emphasis on arcade games. It has arcade arcade games from Irem, it has arcade games from Capcom, and it even has some console classics on here as well. There's over 90 games in this thing. 90 games! So that's a lot of games. So Retrobit sent me one of these to check out, and we're going to review it on the channel. We're going to unbox it, and we're going to take a look at the games. Hopefully the emulation is good, hopefully the games run nice, and maybe this will be a cool system to check out. So sit back, relax, subscribe to the channel, let's unbox this and take a look at the Super Retrocade from Retrobit. All right, so here we have the Super Retrocade from Retrobit. Uh, we see Mega Man is on the cover, Strider's on the cover. We got Final Fight, Mega Man 2, Joe and Mac, Burger Time, Double Dragon. Over 90 packed games. It's a lot of games, man. I do like this box though. Um, you kind of open it up and it shows you like a cool little thing here. And uh, shows you some of the games on here. You got some console titles, Mighty Final Fight, Fighters History, Super Dodgeball, Trojan, Knights of the Round. There's a lot of games on here. Flip it over to the back and you have some instructions, what sort of arcade games are in here, console favorites, comes with HDMI and AV, two classic controllers, uh, shows the difference between AV and HDMI, nice user face, it seems like it has some stuff for like individual games, so that's pretty cool, because I'm not going to be familiar with all 90 games, I mean, it's 90 games for God's sakes. All right, taking a look at the system, once again, She's a small little device, plug and play. You have your USB controller slots, power button, AV, HDMI, slot for an SD card. I believe they're gonna do some updates and actually add more games to it where you could just download them via an SD card. You have a spot for your power. So, tiny little system, nice, simple. Let's check out the controllers that come with it. It comes with two controllers which is good for multiplayer. I will see if other controllers work with it as well. Uh, simple, but it, it actually feels kind of nice. You have some trigger buttons, D-pad feels decent, probably start and select, Y, B, X, A, not bad. And of course you have your HDMI cable. You can never have too many HDMI cables. I like these systems just because I build a collection of HDMI cables and a uh, power adapter. So pretty basic, pretty simplistic, but it is a plug and play system. So of course, none of this matters if the games don't run well. So let's set this up and let's check out some of the games on the Super Retrocade. All right, so here's the interface of the Super Retrocade from Retrobit. As you can see, there's a variety of games on here. You got arcade games, you have some NES games, you have some Super NES games, a good variety of stuff on here. Now I know one of the questions you guys are gonna have is can you add additional games to the system? I probably won't do it. Um, I'm more interested in how the system plays right out of the box, but I know John Riggs has been tinkering with that and yes, indeed, you can add more stuff. He'll probably have a video of it on his channel, just showcasing, you know, what sort of games you can add on here, but I'm more interested in how it plays just out of the box. Another thing I know some people are gonna say is, oh, we'll just get a retro pie, you could do all this and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, that's cool, but you know, this is officially licensed by IRIM, uh, Data East and Capcom, so I like it a little bit more because of that. So, looking over the games, you have a good variety of games. Some of these games I have no clue what they are about. Um, I'm interested in a game like Final Fight. That's a real selling point of this system to me. So before you get into the game, you can hit select and tinker with some different settings. So you have a volume setting, you have a video setting, which is pretty important because you're gonna have full screen, which is stretched, or original size, which is the original arcade size. So I'm gonna go with that because I think it'll look better on the system. You can also tinker with your controllers and stuff like that. So let's check out Final Fight. Now this is the second system that uh, Retrobit has released. Last year they did the Retrobit Generations, and unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, there was some emulation problems with that system. Uh, some of the games just did not run well. So I figure a game like Final Fight, you know, that's a pretty important game. If Final Fight doesn't run well, then we have problems. Because, I mean, it's, it's a selling point of the system. Let's be honest here. And as you can see, the game looks fantastic. And the game plays well, too. I do want to mention that the controller, I'm using the standard controller, and I like it. You know, it's it's simple, it has the four-button layout, and it gets the job done. It feels comfortable enough. It has a 10-foot controller length uh, for the cord as well, so that's good. But yeah, so Final Fight, running great. And this is the standard screen mode, like I said. I will show you guys what a stretched mode looks like just in case you're curious it doesn't work well with like shoot 'em ups and stuff like that like no you, you wouldn't want to do that because it'll just mess up your game this guy that guy thought he was tough but he's not tough because i tuck my t-shirt into my jeans because i'm a real og look at these dudes what are they playing dice Casualties of a Dice Game, Big L. That's a really good song. Anyways, so Final Fight is running fantastic, so that's really good. If you want to go back to the main menu at any point in time, you can hit Start and Select. Uh, you will see that there is uh, save states with this, so you can create your own save state, which is nice. Uh, you know, that's a thing of emulation and modern stuff. You can just save wherever you want. Let's check out another game here. Strider. Strider is an awesome game in the arcade. Maybe not so much on the NES. I mean, it's decent on the NES, but the arcade version was just so much better in my opinion. So let's see how, oops, let's see how Strider runs and performs. A great looking game. I used to know a kid named Strider. His last name was Strider. Every time I'd see him, I would think of this game. I think Strider the game is cooler than he was though. I mean, I know Strider the game was cooler. But as you can see, Strider, nice, smooth, the way it should be running. Which is good, because Strider's an awesome game if you've never played. If you've never played the arcade version, you are severely missing out. And I already died because I'm not really paying attention. Let's check out another game, though. So next up, we're going to check out Ghouls and Ghosts. I will run it full screen so you guys can get sort of an idea of how that looks and how that performs. If that's something you're interested in, like I said, I prefer to do it the original size, but this actually looks pretty good um, stretched out. It doesn't look like super stretched at all. It's really, it really just depends on the game. Like a game like Gunsmoke, you're not going to want to do it because it'll be like way too stretched out. But this looks good. And I'm terrible at this game, so um, I probably will not get very far. But this isn't about me playing the games. This is about the performance of the system and how the system essentially plays the games but so far so good um i'm pretty happy with everything let's check out uh, a couple more games and then uh we will get into my final thoughts on the system i'm gonna check out a bunch of these games off camera obviously you don't want to see me play every single one of these games unless you're a very sadistic person uh, i have no idea what mutant fighter is so we're gonna play it stretched out or, okay, I guess not. It'll be the standard size. So this is a, oh, okay, it's a it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter. Uh, Minotaur. I am the victim now. Why not? Oh, God. Um, yeah, sure, that's fine. Werewolf. This is weird. Our heart. What a weird game. It's like... He, 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 what? He just did like a, a head scissor takeover. A German suplex? Is this a wrestling game? <laughs> this is awesome! Boom! Oh, dude, I'm digging this game. We got a super throw. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing good or I'm doing bad. This music is awesome, too. I might have to, like, find this song and then use it as the back. Oh, God. What is going on? What is going on? <laughs> this is so good. Oh, I love this game. How do I do my super throw? 
All right, we're gonna have to. Vi I'm gonna have to visit this game uh, another time. Let's take a look at uh, an NES game just to see. I'm not gonna play Mega Man. I'm not good at Mega Man. I'm good at Mighty Final Fight. So let's check out Mighty Final Fight. Make sure NES games and you know the emulation on the system for those sort of things is good. And hey, it looks good. Nice and smooth. Super underrated game. If you're not familiar with Mighty Final Fight, don't buy the actual cartridge because it's super expensive nowadays. One of one of the NES games that I would like to own, but not at the price because it's just way too expensive. But it's such a good game. So, I mean, late release on the NES. I think it was Capcom's uh, last release. Came out in like 92, 91, 93, around that ballpark. So, yeah, definitely... Uh, Definitely a late release on the system, but a great release on the system. All right, so that's pretty much what the system has to offer. Like I said, I'm going to check out some other games because you guys don't want to see me play all these games. Make sure everything runs okay. But yeah, so far so good. Um, I'm going to check out some other games and then I'll give you guys my final impressions of the Super Retrocade. The Super Retrocade retails for $59.99, and honestly, I think it's worth it. I had a lot of fun playing these games. It's definitely a step up from the retro bit generations. I did run into one game in my research that I felt ran too slow. Um, I'm not super familiar with the game. I'll show a little footage of it right now, but it just felt like it was running sluggish, and I'm not sure if that's indicative of the original product or whatnot, because like I said, I'm not super familiar with the game, but everything else seemed to run up to snuff. I definitely recommend using the original settings, the Stretched out settings work for some games like Final Fight, but the original settings seem to work better for most games as far as visuals are concerned. But it's a pretty cool little system. I like it. Um, it's definitely a step in the right direction. It's definitely a step up from the retro bit generations. And it's cool to have all these arcade games on one little device. And there are some NES gems hidden in there as well. Now, if you're interested in picking up one of these, my buddies over at Castlemania Games do have these available for sale at $59.99. And since you are an RGT85 subscriber and viewer, you can get 10% off by using the coupon code RGT cares and so it'll make it a little bit cheaper but yeah it's a cool little system if you're looking to play some old retro games from IRIM and Capcom and Data East this is a great way to do it it's simple it's plug and play the interface is nice and the controllers are pretty decent too I had fun with this and that's really all that matters at the end of the day so thank you for checking out this video let me know what you think about this system in the comment section down below if you plan on picking one up and yes I did put on a sweatshirt because it got colder in my house thank you for noticing Thank you for noticing. I'll catch you guys next time. Later.